Hey, what's going on, you guys? How are you? It's Dave here. Thank you so much for coming by Surviving New England. Hold on, let me do something very, very unprofessional. But that's all right, because I'm not a professional, nor do I claim to be one. I only play one on TV. No, I joke. I want to talk to you guys about the importance of first aid. Um, I hike a lot. I hike all, often and always, always carry uh, sufficient first aid. I believe it's extremely important, more than people realize, even for a short day hike, when you step out of your vehicle and you, you carry whatever it is you take in with, uh, with you down the trail, I think it should always, always include uh, a first aid kit. And I don't believe that enough people um, live by that, that, so to speak, that first aid, I think, is under, um, it's not as important. I think that's not something that people really have at the top of their mind when they're building a bag or, or, a, or a bug out bag or a get home bag or a survival kit. I think that's something that is really neglected. I know for me, when I first started this a couple of years back, that this is one of the last things really I started to to take care of to kind of finish my kit off. Um, I don't mean I don't mean a home kit. I'm talking about a travel type gear, uh, something that you can throw into your backpack. This is my every single day. I have this first aid kit on me. It goes nowhere without me. It stays in my bag. I don't bring it into the store when I run in to get a coffee or something like that. But it's always, always in my vehicle. And whenever I step out of my vehicle with my backpack and I go for a hike or where, whatever it is I'm doing with my backpack, this is always with me. I have added to this. This is bursting at the seams with stuff. And just this is just a, for instance, type little first aid kit. It's not huge. Um, I have another really large, big family kit uh, that L.L. Bean came out with some time ago that I picked up. That's a really large kit, and I love that kit, not only because L.L. Bean makes, makes great products, but it's, uh, it's a really large kit, good for home. Here's another small kit that I carry with me at all times. It sits in the back of my van, and I don't put this in my backpack because I carry, because I carry this one here. But I could switch them out and carry this one and leave this one in the van. But this this one I have built up. Uh, it was just a small kit and things that I have over time um, included in this kit. R really amazing stuff. I'm going to go through a couple things. So uh, one of the things that I have readily available as soon as I open the kit. Um, I purchased these separate. They didn't come with the kit. Uh, a pair of scissors. And they're solid. These scissors, you can cut a pair of dungarees with these. It's important to me to not have cheap, uh, a cheap pair of scissors in my first aid kit. Um, they, some of them will come with them, but I, I believe that they're, they're fairly cheap. Um, but besides my Leatherman that I carry with me that has a great um, pair of scissors in, in the Leatherman itself, I have these because I, I just believe that they're important and I really, really like how they break down into a nice small little thing so it goes right into the kit. Uh, sterile gauze pads, um, very, very important. Uh, I had recently uh, at work had a major injury to my hand and I cut it really, really bad and I was able to grab my kit. Uh, and and dress the wound uh, before I bled all over the place, and this was key in doing so. And I have since replaced them uh, with 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 some newer ones. But very very important, guys. Gauze gauze bandages. Uh, some of this stuff that I got here is actually from uh, when I had hurt myself at work. I had to get I had to keep changing the dressing. It was a very very deep slice. It was right here on my hand. And you can see that's going to leave a scar for a long time. But that was a real deep, deep wound. And it was hard to attend to it myself. So I eventually had to go get, I had to go down to the first aid 
uh, building and, and get it taken care of. Um, very important, guys. Tape. Uh, very, very important. Multi-use, this stuff. I keep a couple rolls um, of this medical tape or whatever we're calling it. Really, really important. This is something that I bought separate and I keep in my kit. And this is um, this is pretty much for uh, a gunshot. It's it's uh, something I bought basic. It's a basic thing I got it at Walmart. This is for major. This is for major bleeding, guys. This is not just for a little cut. This is for an, when something happens, an accident, you get shot, or you have a major major puncture wound or a large large gas gash. Um, it's this. You just whip this open, and it's just a a powder that uh, that will clot and stop you from bleeding to death. Basically, I keep these here. Many of these, I, I use them even um, when it's not an emergency. I like to use these antiseptic towels. I keep um, I keep a bunch of them. I have plenty. I always have plenty of them. It's important to clean a wound before you dress it. Uh, sunscreen lotion. I always have this for my kids. Usually, uh, they all always get burnt um, out in the sun. But it's important. Sunscreen. It's good to have. It's good to have. Um, on you. Uh, insect uh, insect protection, stuff like that. It's good to have this kind of thing. It, it's just, you'll be amazed how much you'll actually um, end up needing it and using it. Uh, another thing I carry, uh, non-aspirin. Uh, very important to have some type of little bit of a painkiller. It's uh, you, you, you won't regret it when you need it. You know what I mean? You go to work, you got a hangover or something and you, you've got some, you've got some, some aspirins. Um, this is just needless to say, uh, band-aids guys, self-explanatory band-aids of all different sizes. Uh, gauze pad, gauze pads come in all kinds of different sizes as well. Very important. Carrying this stuff is, I can't stress enough having a good first aid kit. Uh, a lot of this stuff in my kit I added over time because when you buy it, it it's got a couple things in it, but to me, it's never enough. Uh, here's another one. I have a couple of these for a gunshot wound. Uh, this is just a little instruction manual. I keep the little survival blanket uh, as well with me. Ice, uh, a cold compress where you just break the bag and it turns into an ice pack. Uh, again, very important to have all that stuff. Uh, Band-aids of all different kinds. I'm not going to pull them all out. Um, I got some poison ivy stuff like that. That uh, that came with the kit. More band-aids, more gauze. Uh, different size gauze, guys, is is really important. The to have smaller, larger. Now these I added to my kit. These are wound closure strips, you guys. Now, if it's almost like a butterfly stitch, and I had to use that on this cut because of where the slice was on, on my finger here, I couldn't get a Band-Aid around it because it was near my palm of my hand, and I couldn't, I couldn't wrap it um, uh, sufficiently. So I used this, and it, you closed, pinched the wound closed and put this over it, these little, little strips, right? These things are amazing, amazing. Really thin, thin strips that will keep your wound closed. Um, just, you know, stuff like that. I actually forgot I had these, but um, here's another, just an adhesive, just like an, an adhesive strip. It's it's um, like that stretchy Band-Aid material. It's just something uh, to, to put over hard to, hard to wrap wounds, such as this one that I had. I keep a lot of um, alcohol swabs and, and those bacterial bacterial wipes. Um, tiny, tiny, little, little, tiny Band-Aids of all shapes and sizes. I know I said that, but I'm just kind of going through this so you guys can get an idea of what I'm talking about. Um, I'm not going to continue to go and show you every Band-Aid size. Um, I have this little gauze roll as well that came with the kit. Cheap. See, I like... I like the gauze rolls that are not cheap. Like just now, the bag just ripped open by me handling it. But key, important to have it. 
So we'll take a little look at this one. That one that I just showed you was this one. And you can see it's bursting at the seams. It's got so much stuff in it. I think something that is an issue too that I'm, I, I found before is I have to search through this thing to find exactly what I need. Um, so it's not compartmentalized, so to speak. What I need is in here, but I have found when injuring myself, the difficulty of going through this first aid kit and trying to find what I need when I've got only one hand to do it. And so I, I got to try to, I have to try to fix that somehow. And, and but I, I just, I love the, how small the kit is, even though how fat it is right now, it's just loaded with so much stuff. But I have this other one, this one I generally keep in my van. And, uh, you know, it's got other than all kinds of stuff in it, uh, in it as well. Um, it's got some, uh, some things I added to it. Uh, just some camp soap. I threw that in there. These, I don't know if you guys have ever seen these. These are, uh, you open it up and inside of it is, it's a camp towel is kind of the name of these. And this little puck looking thing, once you get it open, it opens up into like a rag. Really, but I love how small and compact they are. I keep those in my first aid kit as well as I have some in my backpack for my travels and, and such. Um, I've got some bite medication in here. Again, I won't go through the whole thing, but I like the setup of this bag, how it's compartmentalized, and I really like that. I wish I, I may just switch out and take all my stuff from here and put it into this clear easy to see what's in here type thing so i think i'm gonna i think i may take care of that uh today before i go for a hike the importance of first aid guys i can't stress enough that uh you'd rather have all of this stuff and, and not need it than than wish you had it and need it and you don't have it it's it's just so important um, first aid first aid very very important stuff Thank you so much, you guys, for coming by Surviving New England, and you'll definitely see me on the next one.